an incredible combine performance is sure to elevate your NFL draft status. But is that enough for people to automatically be falling in love with Oklahoma State running back Justice Hill? We're going to explore that next, dive a little deeper, right here on the NFL Draft Profiles, hosted by DynastyLeagueFootball.com. The NFL Draft Profile Series, NFL Prospects, break it down, let's get it. People's pin in the gridiron scholar, time to do it major. Let's see who run in the field, let's analyze the data. Yeah, let's go. We've covered a bunch of running backs now in this class, and while the position offers some depth, it doesn't really offer any top-end talent. That's why Oklahoma State's Justice Hill has really seen his stock take one of the biggest rises since the NFL Combine based on his top-of-the-position metrics, and more specifically, the 4-4-0 flat 40 that he ran. John, are you falling in love with what you've seen from this running back? He's been dynamic. He just missed his 3,000-yard season as a rusher for Oklahoma State. But is it enough to make you think that this is somebody that can translate his game to the next level and be – that same kind of back. You know, Andy, when I originally started the draft process in about December, I was a little lower on Justice Hill than most analysts and scouts. However, over the last couple of weeks, I've watched more film of him, and you had mentioned the combine and how well he scored in comparison to all the running backs in this year's class. And I have moved him up a few notches in my rankings, and I do like him now, and there is a spot for him in the NFL. In 2018 and 2017, he was all Big 12 first team. In 2017, he was first team all Big 12 academic selection. Hey, I'm a teacher. I understand that when young men make honors roles and academic awards, that is important. And it translates to them being a better teammate, understanding the playbook, and just being dedicated to their craft and in the classroom. In 2016, he was the Big 12 newcomer of the year and freshman all America first team. His first two years on campus, he recorded back to back thousand yard seasons. As a freshman, he paced all of the FBS freshmen with over 1,100 yards rushing. In 2017, he finished atop the Big 12 with 1,467 yards rushing. Now, last year, he missed two games with a rib injury, so he ended up with 930 rushing yards. He just missed having over 1,000 yards three consecutive seasons. He concluded his career with 31 total touchdowns and 3,843 yards from scrimmage. So he's been prolific on the gridiron. But you alluded to it, Andy. His combine performance really, really said, to me, he is now a third-round draft pick. He finished first amongst the runners in the 40-yard dash, the vertical jump, and the broad jump. And he has some strength to him. He was in the top 10 in bench press. Despite being 5'10 and 198 pounds, he's a strong upper body. He averaged 5.6 yards per carry, which is above my benchmark, and he only finished one reception short. He had 49 career receptions on campus. He's a shifty playmaker with outstanding change of direction ability. He has impressive bursts with fantastic feet. He effortlessly effortlessly makes cuts in traffic, and he's quick through the hole. He has good vision and contact balance. He has tremendous lateral agility and cut jump cut ability. He's dangerous in space, and he attacks the second level of the defense. He's a dual-threat ball carrier with striking route running skills. I have him and James Williams on the same tier as pass-catching running backs. Andy, what do you think about Justice Hill of Oklahoma State? So this, to me, John, is the perfect example of why the combine should not matter. And I know that sounds kind of crazy considering the fact that he tested through the roof. You know, we all saw the freakish athleticism at the combine. But in watching him in his games, it's almost like that works against him. He does have the great speed. He tries to be patient, but sometimes he can't control it. And he'll run into his blocks or he'll make bad reads and won't find the hole. John, I want him to run to daylight more. Sometimes the holes are there, and it's just like he he gets too ahead of himself and wants to break it and do more, and I think it's because of that athleticism that we've seen. I think he's faster than he is quick. I don't think he's really elusive. I don't think he's going to win one-on-one against tacklers. He doesn't always trust that speed that he does have. He'll utilize the jump cut, and when he goes to his left, sometimes it can look dangerous and scary, but he only cuts back to his left. I've never seen him use the jump cut going to his right. Uh, How long is it going to take, if I can see that on film, for an NFL defensive coordinator to scout that and say, force him to his right, force him to his right? You know, it's like basketball with a player who can't dribble with his left hand. Now, we say about wide receivers sometimes that when the ball's in their hands, they look like a running back. To me, this is a running back that looks more like a wide receiver with the ball in his hands, as strange as that might sound. He doesn't have a very strong lower half. If the defender wraps, it's over. He's going down. 
which also compromises his balance, which to me looks a little suspect. He's not pushing piles. The pass protection is weak. He doesn't show too much aggressiveness. I mean, in fairness to him, his offensive line wasn't really great. But I wonder if he can handle a full workload, especially at the next level. We see some injuries with him. Hamstring injury cost him to miss the rest of the combine, so he didn't participate in the three-cone drills or the 20-yard shuttle. He also had a rib injury at the end of the 2018 season, which cost him to miss some time, which probably would have guaranteed he had a third straight 1,000-yard rushing campaign. All in all, I do think Justice Hill has the athletic ability to play at the next level, but there are certainly questions that I have, and I'm not just propelling him up my running back rankings based on a fast 40 and you know a, a jumping through the gym. That wasn't enough to sell me, and I'm very skeptical about how I feel he's going to translate at the next level just based on what I've seen from his game on film. How do you feel about Justice Hill? Are you intrigued? Are you buying now based on the results? Leave it in the comments below. Tell us what you think. Check out the other running backs we've covered. See how we feel he compares to them. Check out the other players we've covered as well. John's other work can be found on Football Diehards. You can check out a lot of other great articles and podcasts right here on Dynasty League Football. And if you're looking for advanced stats and metrics, you can check out my newly launched website, expandtheboxscore.com. We appreciate you checking this out today. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you for another one.